Friday, we bring you the weekly feature. We call it My Culture. And have you ever heard of uh, a place where uh, skulls of human beings are preserved in a cave? Now, in this second and final part of the skulls of Taita, uh, Juni Carissa unravels uh, the mystery associated with how the Moanda community in Taita Taveta County pays respect to the dead and appeases the ancestors of all this in the weekly feature, My Culture. After five hours of rigorous preparations, we made it into the Mofunja Ngomeni shrines. We are about to tell you the value of this gem. The walk leading to the cave barefooted was the true test of time. However, we put on a brave face and withered the terrain, conquering the quest. I made it. A site of piled up skulls, each arrangement neatly in its own corner, ushered us into the cave. Traces of mask skulls portrays the yearly prayer sessions conducted by the locals for the country. It is at the heart of the cave that we are revealed fully the historical mystery of the cave. As the tale goes, a lifetime ago, Mze Mwafunja was the first inhabitant of the Mwanda area. Uh. His offsprings populated the area that is now home to four clans resulting from his four sons. Upon Mze Mwafunja's death, his people decided to make him a saint. Mwafunja's body was buried in a sitting position. Six months later, his skull was excavated. Another burial ceremony befitting a king was conducted that saw his community place his remains in the cave. The practice was then replicated to his sons as well as all other clan heads. Whom the Mofunja Pelecocha Kulakuchaka Paleju won a Pelecano to Saba. Now to Saba, who on Lazima Mijitakasa Kosiku Saba, how a Lalina Biza and a Bibio Sheria Toshkran, Sio Yamatatizo. Despite their intent to follow the religious practice, it will come at a cost, a cost that one of his grandson was unable to bear, shunning him out of the community. Akamba in 1945, Lucas Mbashu's great-grandfather was the last skull to be preserved at the cave, a ceremony that 95-year-old Mze Mwasaru was lucky to attend. Every year, on every ninth month of the calendar, the community has to offer sacrifices and prayers to the saints. Kuna dini nyingi zimeingia. Wengine ata si maombi ya ukweli. Hmm? Lakini tinapo kuja hapa kuombia wa wazee. Tuna kuja kuombia wa wazee tukio na imani kumba hawa watu ni ni... ni Naita saints. Kama ugonjwa unakuja, tuombe hapa, hiyo ugonjwa isingie. Mana siche ito kwa upepo. Sita kuja kwa upepo. Sasa inakuja kwa upepo, igije, igi, pigo ya flawa na hile maombi yetu. Yalafu inakimbia huko. 
Over time, vagaries of nature continue to threaten the preservation of the skulls, a worrying situation accelerated further by modernity. Kwa kila mwaka huwa tunakuja hapa tukiangalia ni kitu gani kinatembea hapa na kitu gani kinakaa hapa hivi kwa sababu huu ni mradi wetu tunaupenda na ndio maana tukaweka fence the modern generation is yet to be cognizant of the magnitude of the cultural importance of the cave ukiambiwa okay, sasa ah mnapita na wakati sasa ndio lazidi kuumiza hii tamaduni kabisa inazidi kuumia tena na jumuiza si wenyewe lakini kifuata ile mila ya zamani lazima atakao sawa waingie kinaga ubaga kusomea mila na wazisome kweli na hata ikiwezekana waende wakikopa kopa mila za wengine ili wafananishe na zao zile mzuri wachukue waweke na wafanye documentation waweke record si mambo ya kusema na budumu alafu mambo yanaisha izile mbaya waache just as Lord's wife in the Bible, we are not allowed to look behind under any circumstances as we head back to the holding area. It is here that the women had prepared a meal for everyone that was to be eaten within the vicinity and its remains burned to ashes. The clarion call from the elders is that the youth must embrace the older ways for them to embrace this culture. From Taita Taveta County, I'm Juni Karisa for my